And we're back. Make sure you like for the algorithm if you haven't already. Like for the algorithm. Kelly, yes, you have a new book coming out June first, but you also have something new coming out too that I think is a podcast. It is. Yep. <laughs> um, I'm I'm so excited about this actually, and I'm like, dude y'all have it down like I'm like I love y'all's podcast like I'm in awe because I'm oh, nowhere near <laughs> um, but uh yeah my really good friend Melissa and I we've known each other since we were like I don't know college age like it's been a very long time um we're starting a podcast called 30 something um so it's gonna debut on June 5th and it's kind of just talking about like life in your 30s and kind of navigating um because we kind of say that like your 30s are kind of like a second run of your teenage years because you're not in your 20s but you're not in your 40s and so you're just kind of like navigating like this whole new thing where like half your friends are married and the other half aren't and um you know everything's kind of changing and when you wake up in the morning your body sounds like a glow stick when you stretch and yeah. <laughs> you know like, like all these all these funny little isms and we also do like a ton about nostalgia and stuff like that so it's called 30 something um i think it's gonna be a lot of fun and yeah it's just it's kind of like hanging out with friends um and just talking about new normals and thriving and kind of surviving so hey um when does that one come out june 5th june 5th okay you got a lot going on in june yes <laughs> it's a busy month <laughs> Um, what advice would you give to 20-somethings out there? To love where you are. Um, I think, you know, the cool thing is, like, I love so much what Joshua was saying about how, like, we're not, you know, robots. We're not, like, these, like, cookie-cutter pieces that have been made. Um, and I think that's true for every facet of life. You know, like, one pot might look one way and the other uh, totally different, you know, and I think the same is for our lives. So I think enjoy the season you're in because it has a purpose in your story. And if you go through that whole season just in a, like, kind of just bitter place, uh, you're going to actually miss a lot of the beauty around you. Because one day the things that are around you, you will miss, even if you're like, oh my gosh, I could never miss this job. I'm so done with this job. I'm so ready to be out of this job. Like, you're going to look back and be like, I really miss that coworker, or like I really miss that schedule I had or you know I really miss my commute because my commute was just like so peaceful you know things like that so I think it's like looking for like the little things and just appreciating the ride um, and knowing that you're like if you are following the will of God with your whole heart and you're running after him you're not gonna miss it you're not gonna miss what God has for you because your eyes are on him and that path is straight that's good that's good advice I love that Okay, so before we get into the fun stuff, before we get into reacting to some videos, what, you have two minutes, you have two minutes, what is one miss, one message you would like to leave the world? Oh, I love that. Um, I think that it's that God intends the best for you. Um, you know, I think one of the biggest lies that the enemy tries to tell us and one of the biggest lies the enemy's tried to tell me is that, like, um, you know, it's all for naught or it's all in vain. But I think at the end of the day, like, if we look back at the faithfulness of God, we're actually going to see that, like, if we were, if we knew the whole story, we would actually agree with him even in the hard knocks of life, you know. Um, and we would agree with him that, like, the story needed to be written in that way. Um, so I think just trusting that God is good. And I think if we hold firmly and believe that God is good and that he intends the best for us, um, that helps us when we're in those storms. But then when we're on those mountaintops too, we're like, man, like this was so worth it. And I'm so grateful. And it makes our worship and praise just even more sincere. Good. I like that. Yes. Okay. I guess... Okay, <laughs> let's get into some reaction videos. <laughs> this is Armstrong Williams, and welcome back to Did You Know, where I tell you about the most underreported stories from around the world. Mm -mm. Have you ever heard of chakra stones or sage? Yeah, some people that tell you they're for energy and they're for healing. History is telling us that we can tradition is coming back with a vengeance in the United States. 
Some people call it witchcraft. According to the American Religious Identification Survey, between 2001 and 2008, the number of Wiccans increased from 134,000 to 340,000. That's right, from 134 to 340,000. More and more people are relying on crystals for various reasons and stores all across America are supplying their needs. Are you one of those people who are relying on crystals? One thing is clear, and that is that more and more Americans are leaving Christianity for alternative means and some may not even know it, but they're engaging with witchcraft in their everyday lives. That's right. Witchcraft is coming back with a vengeance. I'm Armstrong Williams. Well, I got some thoughts on this one. Oh, <laughs> Go for it. I'm like, oh, y'all, y'all found one of my, uh, one of my passionate things. Um, so 100%. And I think it's like, Oh my gosh, I could talk on this for like an hour. Um, so I noticed it kind of, I don't know, starting like around the pandemic time because, you know, pe like TikTok really started to take off then. Um, and like, I jo so I joined TikTok just for funsies. I don't know. I think like everyone did. Um, but I kept seeing all this stuff about like manifesting and I was like, that sounds kind of sus to me. Like something felt wrong in my spirit, right? Mm -hmm. And so I kind of did some like research on it and I'm realizing like how there's so much witchcraft under the guise that it's like somehow like, I don't know, like, like it's like safe. It's like not dangerous. Like it's kind of like playful and it's like, y'all don't realize what you're doing here. Like y'all yeah. are out here like, making deals with literal demons to do favors for you. And then you don't think they're just going to make make you their puppet you know um and yeah and i think a lot of it you know like I, i'm so concerned about the youth because i think they're so they are so spiritually thirsty like they so badly like i think out of all of the generations over the past generations like this generation coming up they're so thirsty for something spiritual they don't want just like a religion to follow they want to like drink but they're drinking from a toxic pool when they're like participating in like you know like these witchcraft things and it's all under the guise that it's somehow like just spooky or like that it's like safe somehow and i i think they're not realizing like how actually like dangerous it is and how vicious it is and how it can really bring their life to ruin and I love um, I read this quote from Charles Stanley and it stuck with me like it just stuck with me but he said anything acquired outside God's will will become ash and so I'm thinking about I even saw these testimonies of these girls and they didn't even realize what was going on but they were like yeah like I manifested dating this guy but every single one of them the relationship either ended like they were broken up or divorced yeah. And I don't think they realized that, like, yeah, you put a spell over this person and then the spell wore out, <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. like it didn't it didn't keep because it was outside of the will of the Lord. And so it did turn to ash because it wasn't eternal, because when the fires came at it, it couldn't withstand the fire. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I appreciate that you had that video. So, yeah, yeah that's good. <laughs> it's one of my it's one of my passions, too. Just because yeah. I was actually doing that stuff at one point before I rededicated my life to Christ. So when I see it and I see people that were my age getting into it, it's like, no, don't do it. Like, like there's just so much behind the scenes that they don't realize, um, you know, because everything, like that one verse, the principalities, things aren't, like, what is it? <laughs> Yes, you don't wrestle with flesh and blood. Um, yeah, that verse, just like, yeah, whenever I see it, it just grieves me. It grieves me so much because there was one, I was looking for a house at one point, and um, while I was touring the house, there was a room in the house that had like all the chakras, all the crystals, all that kind of stuff in there, and I just felt like the the heaviness. I felt I felt everything while I was in there. And I was like, oh, God. And then, like, after we left, my mom was with me. I just I just bawled my eyes out. And I was like, Lord, like, help her see that 
this is not of you. Help her see that she can get her peace from you. Help her see that she can get her happiness and joy from you and direction from you. So, yeah, it's really, it's really heartbreaking to see it. Um, but I really do, I really do pray like people, you know, open their eyes and see that there's darkness behind it. And like, start at one point you can go deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper um like you can start out at crystals and then the next thing you know you're like what he said you're a wiccan or you're you're a full-blown witch yeah. at that point so it's like it's not Pretty it's slow. not it's not as innocent as it seems so yeah yeah that was a good video i love your prayer though for like that person like you know like i i'm sorry you had to like go through that house but i'm also like maybe god had you go through that house to like invite some holy spirit and truth in you know because yeah. we do like hope that like the person who owned it like can come under like actually seeing truth and not continue to be fooled. yeah yeah definitely